Hey, how's it going? Big Gumbo here. So my brother moved out of our apartment and now I've got his bedroom. And so I'm turning it into like a, uh, you know, workspace. And I'm trying to build this vertical flat lay here for photographing. And I've kind of got an idea of what I'm going to do. So I bought this fabric from Joann's. It's like a Sherpa fleece. And then I've got it on top of this Walmart table. Here's, I have bought two of them. They were like 50 bucks a piece, unfortunately. And I was gonna have two of them in the closet here, but they're too wide, they don't fit. So now I'm gonna return that one, and I think I'm gonna try to like go to Lowe's or Home Depot and find some sort of flat material that I can screw onto the top of this table to make it take up the entire width of this closet. So that way I can take like square photographs and I don't have to worry about rotating my phone because I spend a ton of time, you know, rotating and Maybe a t-shirt would fit on this width, but anything bigger than a t-shirt or a pair of jeans isn't gonna fit. And it's also cool because a whole pair of jeans is gonna fit on here for sure. This is six feet long, this table. But yeah, now I just gotta figure out what the hell to do about the width. Got these little clips from Walmart. They're only like $1.50. This piece of fabric, which is, I think it's four feet by six feet. It only costs $19, which is a pretty good deal. I mean, it's a full size Sherpa blanket for 19 bucks. It's actually just fabric, but you could use it as a blanket if you wanted to. I think the closet's a good idea for this because I can clip on lights up here. I could maybe even get another ring light back there shining down because I just want light from all directions. So fortunately my closet has like this little hook thing here, which is meant to hold this like clothing hanger bar. But my table, also has a little hook here, which is meant for like, when you collapse it, it keeps it closed. But I'm a little worried about this uh, thing breaking. There's really nothing much holding it on here. So I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, this is into a, into a stud. So this is pretty sturdy here. And this is a inch thick piece of wood holding this on. And that's all good, but uh, I think I'm gonna like wrap a string under here and tie it up around this just for like an extra level of support because I can already see this thing flexing a lot. All right, so I've got this shoelace on here now. Um, so it's distributing some of that weight across this bar, which uh, it's kind of a ghetto way to do this, but it's pretty simple. But then what I did was I went to Lowe's and there's these like uh, about a half inch thick insulation uh, foam boards and they're like really tall. Uh, I bought two of them. And fortunately they're really easy to cut with a razor blade. So I just kind of measured out the width of my car, which is the widest I'm gonna be able to get it because otherwise I can't get it home. And I'm gonna stick these on top of here and then clip that uh, piece of Sherpa onto here. And then I'm also, to get these to stick, I was gonna like try to like drill them in, but this plastic table isn't really gonna hold screws. So I've got this industrial strength Velcro, which I'm gonna stick on the table and on these boards, and that's gonna get it to stick to the table. All right, so I took a little break and went skateboarding. Sorry, I gotta keep it down because it's late. Um, went skateboarding. And now I've got, I've got the Velcro on here and I've got the Velcro on the boards. I don't have the last piece of Velcro on that one because I got to make sure I line it up perfectly, but we are going to put the Velcro board onto our table and see how that works. So I'm not the most handy guy in the world. I don't even have a measuring stick or whatever, <laughs> what do you call it? A uh, tape measure, but we'll see if this worked. $20 Velcro. It's a big board. This thing is huge. 
All right, I gotta try to get the fabric clipped on there, but I didn't leave myself any room to climb into the closet. So it's gonna be a little tricky. This worked pretty great actually, as you can see. All right, so I've got, like I said again, I need to get another ring light, but I've got these lights clipped up here and the top half is very well lit. Got this little guy. I suggest you build one of these if you use clip lights. This is a uh, padded broomstick handle attached to a um, drum seat, like a, they're called a throne, attached to a drum seat with plastic wrap. And it's perfect because this rubber here, you can just clip these clips onto and they stay. But yeah, let's try it. See you guys. I might need a step stool for something this big, but I think for most items, this is a pair of Carhartt um, overalls. Look how good that looks. All right, nice. It's a pair of Carhartt overalls and they're like size 48. So this is like the biggest possible thing you're gonna photograph. Most things are probably gonna be down in this range, like shirts and whatnot. And I might get a little step stool that I can pull out from under there. And it's good that I can put my feet under this because I can get right up and get those details. I was worried about how I'm gonna measure stuff. I'm probably just gonna do it the same way I do it, like snap a photo of that, snap a photo of that. So it, this is, I'm pretty happy. All right, so I've gotten to a pretty good spot. I still need to purchase another ring light, but this is how the setup is looking. So got my stack of clothes here on this uh, wooden slash metal table. Here, I'll go wide view. Stack of clothes here, ruler. Got a step stool in case I need to do something up high. Got a little bench. In case I need to take a seat for a second. So I grab the uh, clothes off of the, grab the clothes off this pile here, throw it up, straighten it out. I also keep a lint roller right here next to the pile. I haven't lint rolled this. This is just to show you, you know, take a picture of the front, picture of this, picture of the tag, flip it. You know, point out if there's a little stain or something. Psh, psh. See my measurement photos. Psh. Psh. Fold it up. Then I walk over here. I don't like that I have to walk all the way over here. So this is kind of the folding table area. <laughs> Or, you know, you, you know, you're gonna throw it into your little bag. Doing this crappy just to show you. Close it. Gotta get more stuff. Anything I might need, I need to have like within arm's reach. Got my labels. Got a trash can under here for throwing away. The end of the labels, and you're gonna put your sticker on there. This one I've already photographed. And then once it goes into this little bag, whoop, it goes into the IKEA bag, and then it goes into whatever bin it might need to go to. I've also got my bins out here. It's a huge mess out here right now, but I've got my bins here. Got to return that table to Walmart. It's looking pretty good, but yeah, I need to like get it set up so that I don't have to move. I can just do like a boom, 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 you know? So I could like put another table here, but then that would kind of, I wouldn't be able to walk into the room as easily. I guess it doesn't really matter. 
because this is just for work. It doesn't really need to look good. So I might put that other table over here. I don't know, but basically that's how it's going. I'm gonna be tweaking things, fixing things as we move along here. Crap, I forgot to get more clips. I just went to Walmart. I meant to get more clips to put on the sides and the bottom, but thank you for watching. My name is Big Gumbo.